Welcome to the fourth video in our NC Live tutorial series brought to you by the Shepherd Memorial Library. Just a, another reminder, you always want to make sure that you are using NC Live as Shepherd Memorial Library slash Pitt County. If you are not successfully logged in, you will see the phrase log in between the parentheses. Today's tutorial is going to focus on how to research using journals, magazines, and newspapers. And you'll see right here um, under by subject the journals, magazines, and newspapers. So click on that and it will take you to a pretty large list of databases. Um, and we're going to talk about all of them. All but SIRS, Science and Context, the North Carolina Periodicals, and the InfoTrack Newsstand basically look the same. So even this ABI Inform and the Canadian News Stream, and even the International News Stream, will look like the same home page as the New York Times and as you can see from this ProQuest Arts and Humanities database all the way down to ProQuest UK and Ireland database these are all powered by ProQuest so they're going to basically look the same in the home page so do not get overwhelmed and um, think that you're not sure how to use them. The Science and context, context and then these three SIRs, or excuse me, four SIRs, will all have, will take you to the same home page and I'll show you how to use that as well. Um, the US News Stream will still have that same ProQuest database um, uh, landing page as well as the Wall Street Journal. So do not get overwhelmed because once you see how simple it is to access these, the landing pages all look the same. They're just specific ProQuest databases. So, you know, whether you have a subject in the telecommunications field or the psychology field, you just simply click on this. And you can go through and read these because um, this is a free resource that will be offered um, no matter what grade you are in, I mean, even into college, you can still use your Shepherd Memorial Library um, card even if you are not attending school at um, ECU or Pitt. So this is a really great resource to learn. These are valuable skills that will carry on um, throughout your learning career. And even if you're not in school, and you're just a lover of knowledge, this is just an incredible um, list of resources for you. So I'm going to start off with the New York Times just so you know what that looks like. And as you can see, it provides the full articles from New York Times to the, um, from 1980 to current. And so I've already got this tab pulled up, but all you would have to do is click on it and it'll um, have a redirect theme page. Give it a couple moments to load. But this is what that um, home page looks like. So you can see that it's powered by ProQuest. And within this publication, you know, it's just the general search bar. You can go in and do the advanced search. Oh, well, that just took us. We're going to get back. I'm not sure why that took us to the advanced search. You can see this is the redirection. That service alert. Um, so you can see that from 820 to 821, ProQuest is going to be down, and NC Live will usually always tell you when um, things are not, specific databases are not working, so that's always a great um, thing to look for. So because that advanced search button pushed us back to the home page, I'm just going to use that basic search bar function, and I would love to see everything that the New York Times has published regarding social media since 1980. You, again, you can choose whatever you would like. And as you can see, 31,000 results. It's pretty intense. 
So again, you know, use those skills that I showed you in the earlier videos. You know, do you want full text? Do you want just um, an abstract or a citation? You know that this is only newspapers because it's searching the, um, solely in the New York Times. Can, do you want within um, the past six years, you know, update that? And that drastically cuts down the results to 14,000, which is still a lot. Um, so you can see that social media definitely has an impact in our um, age, especially of what the New York Times reports on. And again, publication title, you don't have to worry about that. And you've already, you know, got your subject, but you know, this is showing you social networks, websites, presidential elections, uh, motion pictures and television programs. This is just really, you know, play around with it. Um, and like I said, if you have any questions, ask the librarian. You can either, and all of these, you can send files to the operator, you can email them, or send that chat history. So NC Live is just here to help, always. Okay, so now that you've seen the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal, is also it looks exactly like that as well. Um, so let's dabble in these ProQuest. So say you have next out of that one. You want to search public health. Um, this is what that's going to look like. It's going to have that redirection page. And again, you know, you've got your basic um, search bar. You know, use those skills that I showed you. Um, in the prior videos and then it even gives you you know what would you like would you want to go into drug abuse or alcoholism and see what kind of research you can find or um, how does being on welfare and the social services that are provided to um, those in need you know it's just such a plethora of information I could really go on so don't get overwhelmed just really use this as an exploration tool um, because this is such a powerful database that it's going to give you um, such in-depth knowledge. And as you can see, I'm going to exit out of that one, the religion database is just another subject. This is going, I mean, it looks exactly the same. You've got your basic search bar, you know, what do you want to get into? Do you want to get into Christianity or Islam or Mormonism, you know? Um, you've got your different subjects within this broad religion subject. And again, the advanced search is going to take you into that, what type of publication, what type of keywords. So don't get overwhelmed because you have those skills that we learned in those prior videos. Um, the SIRS knowledge source. I will do another video specifically on SIRS and how to use it. But SIRS is um, a great database as well. And as you can see, that they have an issue researcher. So um, these are covering the leading issues most studied and debated by students. That is great. Um, also, you have a government reporter that shows historic and government documents. Um, you also have a renaissance, which is current perspectives on art and humanities. So you have specific databases databases within SIRS as well and again you've got that basic search bar you can go to the advanced search um, so don't get overwhelmed play around with it you know um, that is just my advice for anyone um, you know it's always better to really learn how to use these tools so that you can easily research the next time you're coming around um, the Science in Context is another um, database. I want to show you guys what that looks like from the um, redirection. So this is what the Science in Context homepage looks like. You've still got your general search bar. The advance is right here. You can see that you're successfully logged in. Shepherd Memorial Library slash Pitt County. And this is just a really great science resource. I mean you've got everything from biographies to physics and astronomy and um, 
I should share a really incredible free science resource. Um, you can even come in and look at videos, um, which is just really great. You know, browse topics, maps, curriculum standards. Another, oh, excuse me. We will go back. Another database that's featured here that is not going to look like that general ProQuest is the North Carolina Periodicals. And that is right here. So, and it is index of regional publications about a wide range of North Carolina related topics. And this is really cool because it's offered by East Carolina University here in Greenville, North Carolina. And again, you can um, browse by subjects, browse by periodicals. Um, so they have 24,780 articles solely about North Carolina. Um, and that includes, you can see right here, 68 current and historic publications. Um, so this is just a, a really incredible resource if you're looking for specific information regarding North Carolina. And the last resource that is not, doesn't have that general ProQuest landing page um, is the InfoTrack newsstand. And this is going to give you um, more than the New York Times. As you can see right here, it says full text access to more than 1,100 major U.S. regional, national, international, and local newspapers. And this is what that landing page looks like. So it's, it's offered by Gale. It's pretty similar to that science um, in context page. But again, you've got your basic search. Um, you can search by publication. So whether you want the LA Times or um, what have you, you can search that. So don't get overwhelmed because they're going to give you the options to look forward or look through, you know, Say we want to list all publications because I'm not, you know, say you're not familiar. But here you can look and see that there are quite a few newspapers and magazines that are offered. And you can see right here you can even sort it by country. So remember that you can always sort and you can always narrow down more and more and more of what you need according to those search functions. So I hope that this helped you navigate the journals, magazines, and newspapers um, function of the NC Live. Again, don't forget you can always ask for help um, via the Ask the Library, a Librarian um, function. And you can also call us at the Shepherd Memorial Library or visit um, the reference desk at the main library. Um, happy researching and good luck, and thank you for watching. Join us for the next tutorial.